you are in the world, right now is the perfect time to be wearing a trench coat. Whether you're in autumn or spring, trench coats are that perfect light layer for either season. So today I wanted to create six outfits that are everyday wearable outfits, styling the classic trench coat. I have worked hard to shop my own closet to create today's outfits, so I think these will be easy to copy or grab inspiration from for things that you already own in your wardrobe. I'm going to be giving a couple of different layering options for a few of the outfits as well and the last outfit I'm going to be turning from day to night. So there's technically a bit more than six outfits in today's video so just keep watching for all the little additions and things that I'm going to be adding on. Before we get started I was actually looking at my analytics the other day and I noticed that there are so many of you guys who are regular viewers who haven't actually subscribed and I don't want to put any pressure on but if you are one of those regular viewers and you don't mind subscribing to help me out um, I would absolutely love that. I think there is like a big button maybe somewhere around here. Go ahead and subscribe now while you're watching this video. Let me know which one of these outfits today is your favorite. Do so by commenting below and we can see what the favorite outfit is of the video. And I think that's all I have to say. So it's time to style some outfits, let's go. So for my first outfit, I'm starting with a really basic base layer of a white t-shirt and blue jeans, something that you guys will easily be able to find in your own wardrobes. For the duration of this video, I'm going to be wearing a gold necklace, a gold bangle and some small gold hoop earrings. So I've thrown the trench coat on top. Today I'm using a slightly oversized beige trench coat. A little while ago, I sold my old trench coat and replaced it with a more oversized fit because I realized I couldn't layer anything under my other trench coat and I also like the look of an oversized trench as opposed to a fitted trench. So these jeans just came out of the wash and I didn't realize until I was filming that they really need to be trimmed at the bottom. So this is a friendly reminder to you guys if your jeans need a little cleaning up make sure you do that because this is not a cool look. So I've added my black Mary Jane shoes, which if you haven't seen my recent short that I uploaded, I actually just sewed on some black elastic to my ballet flats and turned them into Mary Janes. And then I've gone with some really simple styling and decided to choose a black bag to match the shoes. I've also rolled up the sleeves of the trench coat. I think that makes a huge difference in the balance and the proportions of the outfit. And there's such a simple styling trick. So here's a few little close-ups of the outfit. I personally love wearing the cropped tee with the high-waisted denim jeans. And I love the simplicity of this outfit as well. But I feel really put together, even though it's just such a basic outfit. So for this next outfit, I'm starting with an all black base layer. This is actually an outfit that I've been reaching for a lot recently, these two pieces together. I think the tailored vest just makes it a little bit more interesting rather than reaching for a regular black vest top or a black t-shirt. And then of course the beige trench coat, I think they always look really nice over just a simple black outfit. So you can see I'm reaching for my brown bag, which if you know my wardrobe well, you know that this is a new addition. And this is in fact something that has been on my wish list for probably about two or so years now. And guys, I am so, so happy that I waited for the right bag. I cannot tell you how many times I have almost bought another brown bucket bag, but it wasn't quite there. But this particular one is actually matte and nat, and it's one that I've had my eye on. So when I saw it last week pop up on my Depop secondhand, and it was someone selling it in Sydney, I actually couldn't believe it. So I grabbed it and I am just so glad that I waited. And I think that's just something so important to remember about slow fashion is that patience is so important when curating your perfect wardrobe, creating wish lists and knowing what things are really, really missing from your wardrobe so that you can find the right pieces to finish off your outfits is just so key to creating a mindful and slow fashion wardrobe. So I am just so glad that I waited for this perfect piece. Anyway, once again, it is just a simple outfit but I think the pieces that I've chosen the Mary Jane's just a little different to a regular ballet flat 
the vest top a little different to a regular black t-shirt and then the addition of the brown bag to bring in some extra color to the outfit and I think the bag just pops really nicely with everything else. These trousers have been in my wardrobe for years and I wasn't really reaching for them and I realized that they're actually too short so I recently got them taken down and now I cannot stop wearing them. So what I'm doing here is just adding a layer of a blue shirt underneath the trench coat. I just wanted to show this as like an option. It's a nice way to bring in a little pop of color and also once again creates just a little bit more interest in the outfit and also just a layer, an extra layer of warmth. So for this next outfit, I wanted to give an option of over a dress. So I have this mini dress, which is like a knit fabric. It's in the same color as my coat. And then I've added on some sunglasses and the brown bag again. And just to change it up, I've popped on little black espadrilles that have a little bow on the side. They're quite cute and quite interesting and I think they really balance out the look with the mini dress. And I actually just love the way that a trench coat looks over a mini dress. So I think this is really cool and modern and chic and I'm really pleased with how this turned out as well. This next outfit is created with a couple more regular basics that a lot of us have. A white button down shirt I'm actually really enjoying wearing my shirts out at the moment with a couple of buttons undone. Kind of this like undone messy look. I'm really enjoying this, but for this particular outfit, I had a look at it and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna revert back to the half tuck for today and just show a bit more of my jeans. And I think with the trench coat on top, it's just a bit more balanced. And I've gone back to the Mary Janes and obviously the brown handbag because I'm just in love with it and really loving how it adds that extra pop of color. I then wanted to try something different, which guys don't hate me for this because I know a lot of people don't like this, <laughs> but I'm throwing the jumper over my trench coat to style it. I've seen this done a lot all over Pinterest and I think it's cool. Like it's a different way of holding your jumper rather than around your arms. You can fling it across your shoulders. I actually like when it's tied up as opposed to the little knot that I'm showing you now but I also thought because the sleeves are a bit short on this just throwing it over my shoulders undone like this also looks quite cool and this is probably my favorite way to wear it I actually wore it like this at the park the other day with my son and it was actually quite practical it just kind of stayed there the whole time and then I threw my jumper on when I got a bit cold so it is practical and if you like this look then go for it and if you don't then just don't <laughs> the jeans are a really old classic from Everlane the color combination of all this is very classic very chic and yeah I really like the finished look So for this next outfit, I wanted to experiment with some white jeans. I've got a scoop neck linen t-shirt on and then I've just popped my white trainers on to finish the outfit. This is once again a very simple outfit and I don't mind it, but I'd probably like it more with a brown bag. But just to show you guys something different, I'll keep the black bag. And here, just to show a different option of layering, I'm popping on my blazer for a little bit of extra warmth and then the trench coat on top because it's quite a roomy trench coat. When I look at this outfit now, I think it would probably look better with like a higher neck top considering I'm wearing it for warmth, maybe like a black turtleneck or a black jumper, and then maybe even some boots instead. But yeah, I like layering jackets on top of blazers as well. I think it's just a fun, different way of styling your outfits. So this is the outfit that I am going to be changing from day to night. So we'll start with a day outfit. Just got a black slip dress underneath my trench coat. Very simple, black sunnies, black shoes, and then the brown bag to bring in a bit of color. I absolutely love the way a trench coat looks over a slip dress. You could do this in any kind of color combination you wanted that suited your personal style. And even like a little sandal or something would look really nice with this as well, as opposed to the ballet flower. And now we're going to convert it to a night outfit. So I am adding in my little strappy sandals with a small heel, my locket necklace as a bit more of a statement, my small black handbag, which is an oldie, and then of course some red lipstick. 
It's actually really hard to do lipstick into a camera. I do not know how beauty bloggers do it. Here we go, pretending as if I'm finishing it in the camera and <laughs> we're all done. So this is the finished look for the nighttime. I tell you what, a pop of red lipstick can really make such a big difference. And then I am just tying it up in a knot in the middle now because I think this is quite a cool way of wearing a trench and then just showing a little bit of the black dress coming out the bottom, having a little like small opening so you're not doing it super tight. Otherwise you can do it super tight and just go for that. I'm just naked under my trench coat look if that's how you wanna go as well. Okay, so let me know in the comments below what you thought of today's outfit. Did you have a favorite? Next week, I'm gonna be sharing a video about autumn fashion trends that you already own in your wardrobe. So make sure you subscribe to see that. As always, I am so grateful for you watching today. Don't forget to spread kindness this week and I'll see you in my next video.